hey guys welcome to my channel so today in this video i would be covering some basic arunachal gk uh, the meaning of arunachal the status of union territory and statehood the location and also some several case given to arunachal so i request every one of you to watch the video till the end so let's have a glimpse on arunachal this is the disclaimer First of all, I would like to ask everyone of you that what is the meaning of Arunachal? Most of you might be familiar with the word Arunachal and its meaning. So Arun means dawn and Achal means mountain. So basically the meaning of Arunachal is the land of downlit mountains. The name was suggested first by Sri Bibabasuda Shastri, the then director of research, and it was accepted by the council on August 1970. Um, and uh, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi formally announced the name at zero. This is the map of Arunachal. So coming to when did we got the status of Union Territory and statehood? First of all, let's focus on Union Territory. We got the status of Union Territory on 20 January 1972. On this day, on the same day, there were some states which were given the status of statehood. So I would like to request you guys to please check out on those states which got statehood on the same day when we got the status of Union Territory. So when it comes to Union Territory, we call the governor as Lieutenant Governor. So the first Lieutenant Governor was K.A.A. A. Raja and the first Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh was Prem Khandu Tungon. Now coming to the statehood, we got the status of statehood on 20 February 1987. And the first governor was B.N. Singh. And the first chief minister was Gegong Apang. So, this may um, be confused in the exam. Because in the exam, who was the first chief minister of Arunachal? As a question, I got the answer of Prem Khandu Tungon. Lekin, uh, if it will be mentioned like who was the first chief minister of Arunachal after statehood as a mention hoga to uska answer hoga gegong apang chato abhi uh, let's uh, look at some basic general facts of Arunachal first of all area area ka question bahut baar aya hai uh, it has already come in many exams so you have to remember the area 83743 3 square kilometer is the area of Arunachal Pradesh and area wise it is the 14th largest state of India covering 2.54% of India. Kuch books may as a dia hoga ki it is the 15th largest state of India but uh, according to the latest update it is the 14th largest state of India. And the third point is it is the 24th state of India and we got statehood on 20 February 1987 by a Constitution Amendment Act, which is uh, the 55th Constitutional Amendment Act 1987. And now, coming to the latitude and longitude, the latitude of Arunachal is 26 degree 28 minute north and 29 degree 30 minute north latitude. And longitude, we have 91 degree 20 minute east and 97 degree 30 minute east longitude. Now, coming to the location and its uh, neighboring areas, uh, we have Myanmar in the east, Bhutan in the west, and China in the north, and Assam in the south. So, I would request you guys to please check out the capitals of uh, these countries and the state. Now, uh, let's have a look on the several case given to Arunachal. So these are the subjects that are given to Arunachal. First is the land of the rising sun. Yes, it is called the land of the rising sun because it is located on the easternmost part of India. It is also called the easternmost state of India because it receives the first sun rays in India. The Dong Valley uh, in Anjou district receives the first sun rays in India. So this is a glimpse of the Dong Valley. I have not taken the photo, but I have got it somewhere from the internet. So I don't know whether this is the real Dong Valley or not. So sorry for that. And the second point is 
the orchid state of india arunachal is also called the orchid state of india because arunachal pradesh alone has around 600 species of orchids and also uh, you have to know that arunachal pradesh has also established orchid conservation sanctuaries at sessa and dirang and the third subject case is the paradise of the botanist it is called the paradise of the botanist because of uh, its forest biodiversity and the varieties of the plants and its species uh, because of that it is a perfect place to study and explore for the botanist so that is why it is called the paradise of the botanist so that's all for today agar aapko ye video pasand aaya to like and subscribe kar dijiye so that it will be a motivation for me to make more videos and agar aapko pasand nahi aaya to dislike kijiye and comment section mein aapka suggestion likh dijiye so that i can improve in my next video and on my next video i would be covering the districts and headquarters and also current affairs of arunachal pradesh so i request you guys to please give your feedbacks all your suggestions and feedbacks are welcome so thanks for watching and have a great day god bless you all